Uh, hydraulics is when you use a liquid to uh, do work, whereas pneumatics is when you're using a gas to do work. These, both of these systems are used in a, in a closed um, system operation, so both of these uh, um, systems can use a very small amount of force to do a great amount of work. In a hydraulic system, you'll have a, um, a, a liquid um, that is moved throughout the system to exert force in, in any direction or to use in any application. And the pneumatic system uses a compressed gas. So gases can be compressed, whereas liquids cannot. They both systems can do a great amount of work but they operate in a little bit of a different manner. For example, okay, so here we have a syringe with a balloon that's filled with air. Now, if I pull this back a bit, okay, and put my finger on the end, you can see that as I compress the syringe, the balloon is shrinking in size. Therefore, the air can be compressed. Now, if I have the same balloon, uh, the same syringe here, I should say, and this balloon is filled with, in this case, water. So this liquid, the gas around it can be compressed, but the liquid cannot. So liquid is not compressible, whereas gas is. Another easy demonstration is I have two syringes here connected with a hose. So if I push, I'll just pull the plungers out a bit. If I put on both syringes, you can see that the gas inside the syringes is compressed. Whereas in this syringe, that's filled with the liquid, as much as I push, I will not be able to compress the liquid. I can move the liquid from one area to another, but the liquid is always going to be taking up the same volume in the syringe. Uh, the principle behind pneumatic and hydraulic system is Pascal's law, whereas a pressure exerted in an enclosed area okay, will, distribute, will be distributed evenly throughout the area. Um, in, in the case of a fluid, a pressure exerted on a fluid will be transmitted throughout the area uh, at the same force. So that's, it's all based on, on, on Pascal's law. So pressure, okay, distributed evenly throughout an enclosed system. Um, you, uh, Hydraulics and pneumatics both have their, their, their places. You would choose, uh, sometimes uh, pneumatics would be chosen over hydraulics because pneumatics are cleaner, okay? You're not dealing with the fluid. You're not dealing with, in, in most of the cases, it's an oil. Um, so the pneumatics uh, would be used in that case where you don't want to deal with potentially messy oil. Whereas hydraulics, okay, are use uh, uh, fluids or liquids and um, the hydraulics tend to react quicker than the pneumatics, and the, uh, the hydraulics are used most of the time when you need a greater amount of force on, um, used on a certain area. For example, uh, heavy machinery such as excavators, um, payloaders, and all that, all have hydraulic cylinders to do work, whereas pneumatics is often used in, um, in small tool applications such as uh, um, air ratchets and air drills and things like that, things that are used a lot in, in, um, in mechanical work. Um, and in our case, in the Sudbury region, uh, pneumatics are often used uh, in underground environments for um, drills, drilling in rocks and things like that because it's, it's much cleaner than operating a hydraulic system. I mentioned a bit about uh, um, using um, hydraulic and pneumatic systems in industrial applications, but if we're looking at it in more of, a, of um, let's say, day-to-day -day operations, if you're looking at the brakes on, on your vehicle, all brakes are hydraulic systems, okay? Um, the shocks that we use in our vehicles to control the, the roughness of the road are, for the vast majority of the time, based on a pneumatic system. Um, the power steering in your car is a hydraulic system. So there, all of these systems are prevalent in just about everything that we do in everyday life when we're dealing with, with machinery.